Yeah, Ben. Yeah. That was awesome. Now that thing's quiet. Yeah. YouTube, how's it going? I'm back. Just got back from Oshkosh actually, uh, just two days ago, and I met a lot of you guys there. It was really fun. Um, it was really cool to talk with a lot of you and answer a bunch of questions about the old Yama Kolb here with the Yamaha phaser on it. I guess I forget that I'm like one of two people flying a fixed wing phaser and just no one knows about it. And especially with the 582 going out of production now, I really think this phaser is going to be a good option for a lot of you guys. So if you have something with a 503 or a 582, this is really a, a really good option. Um, I'm really loving this engine. I've been flying it a lot. And I'm going to take you guys flying tonight. So um, I just put some VGs in the wing. We're going to do some uh, stole practice and see what the, the difference is between uh, VGs and no VGs. I already uh, filmed some stuff a week or two ago with no VGs, but now I have the Vortex generators on the wing. And we can see it feels better, so I think we're going to come with some better measurements. So we're going to wait till uh, it cools off a little bit and we'll be flying here in a second. Got Dan, my brother, taking some ground shots for me out of the yard. I'm gonna do a couple pattern flights here and uh, a couple takeoff and landings, and he's gonna get some footage for you guys. And then uh, I'm gonna go head up to the airport where I have some cones so that I can uh, measure my landings, do some uh, stole practice. All right. So for reference for where I'm sitting, that little clump of bushes on my right up here is about 100 foot away. So if I can take off by the end of that shadow, that's probably 150 foot, but this is probably, uh, I don't know, five, five to 10 degrees uphill. So it's slightly longer. All the way to that line of corn is about 450 foot. If I go straight, if I angle to the right towards my brother, that's about 500 foot. Let's fly. guess uh, that was under 150 foot so that's, that's pretty good I got vortex generators on the wings now and this thing flies way way different way way better I wasn't like really sure about how I like how it handled but now it's much more predictable and it doesn't really have a sharp break in the stall uh, it's just better all the way around 
So let's see what we can do for uh, landing in my yard. Now the corn is about eight foot tall, so I can't nail the edge of my yard like I usually do. But it's, with these brakes and everything, it should be no problem. Let's see, let's see uh, what we can do here on our first try. Whoa, that was a good bounce. That was a hard bounce, but it was still short. That was a pretty aggressive one. So when you bounce, you can't brake <laughs> because your wheels are off the ground. So we don't want to bounce. All right. I know what to do this time to make that better. The audio is working okay for you guys. This windshield seems to block the wind pretty good. Sounds okay in my side tone and the headset, but I never really know until I go to edit some footage together. Appreciate my brother helping me get some footage and uh, plus the other footage you guys are gonna see in this video of, uh, at the airport. So this thing is so much more predictable with the VGs as I did a hard, real hard bounce on the first landing, of course, after I say stuff like that. But it was the first landing in the night. Let's hopefully this one's better. slightly better. It's difficult with that eight foot tall corn and trying to nail as short as I can to get the wheels down as fast, but I mean, I still have um, at least 200 to 250 foot left in my yard. I'm like right in the middle. So considering that I can't touch down at the edge of my yard, I would say, well maybe in the other angle, I'll be able to tell where I touched down, but I bet you that was under 150 foot. So we'll do one more and then we'll head over to the airport. I saw 2100 foot a minute for a second there. Very smooth air, nice night to fly. Makes it a lot more fun in uh, these light planes. A lot less work. All right, third time's a charm, right? That was the best one yet. It's just difficult with that corn and the bumps in my yard, so not bad. I 
saying, look, that's where we're landing from. And I'm, I'm taking off from the edge before that shadow, and then I'm landing over that nine foot tall corn and stopping by here. I'm probably not touching down until about halfway, so we might be landing in 100 foot. It's pretty good for the not a whole lot of flying time I have in this thing with this engine and uh, the VGs and everything. I'm pretty happy with that. How'd it look? Well, those uh, landings weren't too bad. That third one was probably the nicest one. Yeah, for sure. So, I'm going to head over to the airport and uh, go do the practice over there. But, yeah, that was cool. I definitely like the VGs, but man, that corn is so tall over there. Oh, that's what was going on. I mean, I'm... <laughs> I could tell something was off, and I was like, I wonder why he's coming in so hot, and I see well, your... Yeah. I don't know, and I was... I don't know if my tail was hitting the corner or not, but I was getting as close as I could comfortably get to it. Well, I'm like, well you'll be able to tell on the, on the replay. Yeah. So, uh Thanks for recording that. I'm going to go do some other flying and uh, okay. pretty sweet footage. Yeah. I got it all. Cool. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back like an hour or so. Okay. Have fun. Check, check. Okay. Hey.